What's up, everybody? So Tulsi Gabbard was just on Tucker Carlson's show. I think it was either yesterday or the day before. And she dropped a bombshell. Well, to me, it's not a bombshell, but maybe for people who are a little bit new to politics, especially American politics, what she has to say here might be a little bit shocking. So let's have a look. And then, like usual, we'll talk about it a little bit after. <clears throat> office right now, but they still continue to wield immense power in influencing the decisions that are being made. So can I just sort of sidebar, but I think relevant and interesting, are you answering the question that everyone watching has, which is who is running the government at this point? It's obviously not Joe Biden. Yeah. You, you think Hillary I, I, there, it, It's not a, a leap of, of imagination to know that that's true when you look at the people who are in Joe Biden's administration. They are the, the, the people who were the right hands for the Obama administration, for President Obama, and for, for Hillary Clinton. Uh, when Hillary Clinton said herself the other day, she said, oh, yeah, I talk to the White House every day. So it's, not, it's no shock or surprise uh, who the influences are behind the policies that are coming out of this White House that many people say is the most radical and woke White House that our country oh, has ever seen. I'll say that There's again. No question about it. So, but as this was happening to you, I'm sure you don't want to go to the White House correspondence there, good for you, <laughs> tiresome. But on the other hand, it is a lot easier and much more pleasant to be loved than it is to be hated. I mean, it's just true. And so as you became like really hated by the leadership of the Democratic Party, they weren't hiding it at all. No. Did you ever think, like, maybe it's just easier to kind of pretend bombing Syria is a good idea? Did you ever question your decision to say no? No. no. I, I knew what, that that would be true. I knew that there was certainly an easier path to take. Yeah, I think. <laughs> it was kind of laid out for me when I first got there. Uh, but I, I never second-guessed my decision, um, my decisions about these different positions that I took. Um, I never regretted them. Uh, never, not to this day. And I never will because I didn't go to Washington to be loved by the people who live and exist and thrive in that bubble. Well, sure, I get it, and their their love is not worth having. I no. totally agree, but their money's good. Yeah, and I think you're the only <laughs> famous person I've ever met who flies coach, yeah. <laughs> and you're certainly the only very very well known member of Congress or presidential candidate I've ever met in my entire life who didn't cash in personally. And I know that to be special. So, like, do you ever think, like, maybe, I don't know, it's easier to fly first class because you're just, it's not worth it. <laughs> okay. It's not Good worth answer. It. <laughs> do you think it's weird that we never talk about the money involved? Like, I just know that from living there. Yeah. And from knowing a lot of well-known people who, you know, become famous in politics. And there's not one of them. Not one. Not, literally not one on either side who's not in the top 1%. For income, but you're not. No. Why doesn't anyone ever say that? Yeah, because because it is the assumed norm. It's not the exception. What they're doing is the norm. So why would they talk about it? There's nothing to talk about because they assume that every member of Congress, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, the day you walk out, you get your payday. Now, I'm not sure if a lot of you you know knew who she was. <laughs> the general. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not sure if you knew exactly who Tulsi Gabbard was, but a quick backstory. She's a former uh, you know, congresswoman for the Democratic Party. She ran for uh, president, I believe, in 2016. And her come to fame moment was basically when she had a debate with Kamala Harris. And if you want to um, be thoroughly entertained, I suggest you just YouTube that Kamala Harris versus Tulsi Gabbard, and you'll be very entertained and happy because Tulsi Gabbard is one of the real ones. She's met, she's made some gaffes in the past where she's talked about you know drone strikes and it's like okay you seem a little bit pro war there, but for the most part, like Tucker said, she doesn't take money. But anyway, continuing the story about Tulsi Gabbard, she. Uh, after she got passed over by the Democrats, she realized how corrupt she, uh, how corrupt it was, and she left the party. And now she's just she's not a Republican. She didn't switch sides yet, but.
But right now, I believe she's just, you know, she goes by her tag is a former Democratic congressman, congresswoman. So she basically started exposing the corruption. She was on Joe Rogan's podcast a few times and just really showed how brilliant she is and articulate she is and how well-spoken she is. And she would just be a great person to have in the White House. Donald Trump, if you're listening, you need a VP. That would be the, the best choice you could ever make is to pick her. But but she's been a, you know, a Democrat from Hawaii for a long time. But as soon as she realized that the party was so corrupt, she left. And she exposed all of what was happening, including the corrupt money, including the wars. And she just wasn't going to do it. She wasn't going to sell her soul for it. She's a real one. And now she's you know, dropping another bomb on Tucker Carlson. Now, again, a lot of people might not think that's a bombshell. Maybe you knew it for decades or whatever. But if you're new, like I said, this is information that may be shocking to you. You may think it's a conspiracy theory or that it's not true. I'm telling you, it is. And Tulsi Gabbard, she needs to continue to do what she's doing and go on podcast tours, kind of like what RFK Jr. is doing, and really speak the truth. Because the more truth tellers that we have that are politicians – the better everything is going to be. So like I said, Trump, the best thing you could ever do is pick Tulsi Gabbard. I thought Robert Kennedy should have picked her, but he went with someone else. Either way, she's fantastic. Check her out. If this is your first time hearing about her, just Google her, Google her name, YouTube her name, and you're going to learn a lot about a very brilliant woman who, in my opinion, should be in the White House.